look at the C major chord up on the eighth fret using the E shape. C being our root here. If we look at the major scale in this pattern, think of it this way. Think of it as one, three, five, one, three, five, two, three. There's a reason why I want to look at it this way. When we look at the major chord, we have the root, the fifth, the root. Is that this is the root or the octave if you looked at, if you saw my triad video you should know that this is the third this is the third it's another fifth another octave so this major chord is built on the root fifth octave root third fifth and the root again or the octave so when we look at the major scale, that's our third, is our root, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, root. So we get our root, our fifth, our root again. And if we look at the third here and just use the octave formula, so we know this is a third, we should know that's a third. So this is our eighth fret. So we have our C root, the eighth fret on the E string. And then we have its octave on the 10th fret on the D string. So our octave, this will be our second, this is our third, our fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. And that gives us our whole step, whole step half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. Okay. I'd like to thank you all for joining me in this video adventure in guitar. I am Michael Handy, and I will be your guitar instructor for the day. Can I get you something to drink? Get started? Maybe some bread and, oh, sorry, sorry. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll be your guitar instructor today. Um, oh, you do want something to drink? We have Pepsi. Um, we got 7-Up. No, no, we don't have root beer. I think we have some iced tea I can check for you. While I go get this uh, fine, uh, gentlemen and lady their their drinks um, I'd like you know to ask you to just take a moment and to press that subscribe button if you think my hat is cool I don't care if you think the video is worth watching or if you got anything from it that's that's not you know that's not what's important here it's just it's a hat right it's a cool hat So our C major chord is like so, and this is our eighth fret, ninth, tenth, and here is our root, there's the octave, there's the other octave. Our fifth. This is a another fifth. This is our third. So let's do this. Uh, 
third, fifth. Oh, and let's do this. Brown is beautiful. There's our seventh. Our seventh. So if we were to take this chord and take this uh, octave here and drop it to the seventh, we'd get a C major seven. And then if we took this seventh and dropped it again to the flat seventh, we get the C7 with the dominant seventh chord. We are taking our root here on the D string, we're moving it back. And that gives us our major seven. And then when we move it back, one more, that gives us our seven. So that'd be C major seven, C seven. So when you look at the C major scale, that's our seventh, it's our dominant seventh, right? Yeah, seventh, our dominant seventh. So when we look at the C seven chord, it's built up with the root, Fifth, flat seven. We still have that third. We still have the fifth. We still have that octave. So just quickly, just knowing that, and then that would be this major seven, and that's your seventh chord. major chord e a d g b e and this is our major 7 chord This would be just seventh chord right here. So if we look at the C minor chord, what's happening in the C minor chord versus the C major chord? We're flattening the third. It's a flat third, flat six, flat seven. We're taking the third and we're dropping it a semitone step. So our third here and that's where you're getting that. That's what's making this chord minor versus major. And then our minor chord is taking our third and dropping that back. Uh, there's no sixth or seventh in this chord uh, structure, so we don't have to worry about flattening the sixth and the seventh, and the fifth and the roots can still be played in the minor chord, so we end up with... A D G B E. And where uh, third or this was the note that we moved to go from major to minor. So this minor. Chord. So if we keep going and we look at this C minor chord, what if 
if you want to make it diminished. What is a diminished chord? Some of you may ask. I ask that question regularly. And I had to just like look it up last week. Oh, a diminished is a flat fifth. We take our fifth, we flatten it, along with it being in the minor shape. So it's a flat fifth and a flat third. But we don't really want to play this fifth here. So you really want to mute that string or not hit that string. It's really just those notes. And then for minor, we take this fifth here. Take this fifth here and move it back. And then that would give us our diminished. So. so just looking at the C major scale in that way. Seven. That's our seven. That's our minor, going from major to minor, flattening our third. And then while we're in minor, we then flatten the fifth to get our diminished. So it's a quick way to tie in the scale to the chord, looking at the major scale and then just flattening the third, flattening the fifth, uh, uh, going from the octave to the seventh and to the flat seventh to make your uh, major chord, your major seven chord, your seven chord, your minor chord, and your diminished chord. Okay. So we get our major. Seven. There's a seven chord. diminished. We don't want to play this. We don't want to play this B and E string in the diminished chord. So on top of the C major chord, you can play notes from the C major scale. Bonus 
bonus points for what mode is that? Answer down below. Mixolydian? Oh, yeah, Mixolydian, so flat seven. Dorian's flat third and flat seven. It's been around, do the hokey pokey and turn yourself about. That's what it's all, or something like that. Oh, anyhow, so C7. today so I can't be drunk because I wasn't drinking today yeah I drank last night what do you mean be drunk from last night what what happens yesterday stays in the past can't be drunk from the day before it's ridiculous <laughs> like you, you want to say like like the food I ate yesterday it's like still in my body today <laughs> world are you living in man no everything resets everything resets at midnight yeah like cinderella you know duh Did you believe that guy oh my gosh jeez some people man <laughs>